As much as I love being inside, I am a very much outside type of person, selectively, and I love people who propose new ideas and just new things to do with each other. Like, I feel like when you have a really good group of people, any activity is exciting. So, yes, we are at the bowling alley, okay? (laughs) (laughs) Exit stage left. We are safe, we are safe. y'all so we went to this one bar right and they had happy hour i forgot to mention that a lot of these clubs do take card readers so i only had to go to the atm twice my entire stay a lot of these places you could just swipe anyways we had a happy hour here right and basically you get one cup and you could keep refilling until the hour was up but we only had like 15 minutes left of the happy hour when we got there everybody swarmed the bar everybody it was chaos and then tell me why they all that drunk to what stand there i mean hey do whatever makes you happy but we like to get lit we move around okay that was amazing this was the best night ever yeah (laughs) want to take a moment and express my gratitude and say i'm grateful for the universe keeping me highly favored safe and protected very blessed very much so anyways night out okay we actually went and like it was chaotic i had so many friend groups i was hanging out with yes we ended up dropping off somebody at home or back at the hostel because they had stuff to do in the morning and then we went out yet again for me i'm personally not a big fan of like rides because i like knowing i can leave and show up when i want to and it's just me myself and i got a handle and i know how i got there and etc but like i said i did not have a car during this day so i was grateful for the rides i was getting from the friend and of course gas money was given because baby these taxis were no joke yo do you see this like look at my lash Y'all trying to feed yourself every day in a hostel is hard, but your girl is managing. As I've told y'all before, I'm not a singer. I'm barely a rapper, okay? So bear with me. But honestly, I feel like life is really about experiencing stuff. You don't have to be good at something to enjoy it. So your girl's up here doing karaoke the best she can, okay? Whew, it was really, really nice. And I am creating more music these days, which is, you know, I never thought I'd create music because I never thought I had the voice for it. But I just like art. And I appreciate people who step out their comfort zone to create the art that they put into the world for us to enjoy. So, you know, here's a little ode to Fantasia. When I see you, I used to listen to this walking to the bus stop when I was younger. And this was like, y'all, this was it. This was the song. This is when you thought you knew what love was at like 15. But yeah, did karaoke. Everybody there was so amazing. This one guy was dedicating all the songs to his wife. I was like, oh my gosh, that's so beautiful.
Okay, but best believe your girl tapped out like with the partying. There were so many nights I was like, no, I'm very much okay. I'm going to stay my ass inside, okay? I'm going to sit my pretty ass indoors because I, mm -mm, nope. But tell me why this one song played. And if you know the song, you know. But if you would have told me when I came to Curacao, I was going to have one of the most nostalgic moments I could have ever experienced off of this song. Wait for it, y'all, because I was shook. Like, oh my goodness. Like, excuse me, I did not know I was about to be singing no high school musical on my island vacation. What? Oh my gosh, it's the glow and the happiness for me and the energy for real. Like, wow. Oh man, we were living, y'all. We were really living. These are some wonderful clips. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Thank you for staying in touch with the series, and I'll see you on the next episode.